That's how I like to do it and it makes it easier for the plasterer. And that's where the fun begins. Right, welcome back to another episode and today we are doing some chasing and I want to show you how I mark it out and do everything. This one I've done before which we'll leave up on screen. So I'll show you how I've done this. Um, I like to use the clog free chaser pens personally uh, just because they last a lot longer than any other like sharpies and all that and they leave thick lines for your grinder or your chaser machine so it's easy to see. So let's get into the first step and see how it goes. Right so I think when we scroll around originally we've got a socket here. I don't know if this is the right height so I just want to recheck that it's 450 high. So I'll get my tape measure, get my pen. So we are, yeah so it's at 450. And yeah, 300. So is that the right height? So we'll get that marked out with these. As you can see, if you use a pencil, it's quite hard to see on the lines. So that's another good reason why I like using these. So when you're marking out the boxes, you want to make sure you do get these bang on because it's only going to cause you a nightmare when it's all cut out and you're trying to get the socket level. So just spend your time, make sure it's marked out correctly. And when you chase it out, make sure it's chased out good. So I'm just doing my channel up now. Um, Remember to offset the whatever you're using off center slightly just because in the back box the holes are not centered. Um, to again use the clog free pen, the good thing about these, they don't clog up with all dust like walls like this, they're very dusty from where work's been done in there. Um, so I find that very handy. And to just keep one in your pocket at all times in the holster and you know where it is. So I've got my level up now straight and I'll just. Run it down with a pen. Right, so it's all marked out now and it's left nice thick lines which you want because the room's going to fill up with dust as soon as you start grinding the wall or using whatever you use to chase out. So that's why I like using these pens. So I always keep one in the holster, just in my pocket. It's nice, easy to grab too. But yeah, the next step would be chasing out. And that's where the fun begins. Right, so after marking it out with a clog free tracer markers, I've chased it out uh, using a grinder and SDS. I haven't got a chasing machine at the moment, so I've had to resort to that. And um, because it's red brick, it's really hard and stiff to do. Um, with a chasing machine, it'd be a lot easier. But anyway, that's done. We're going to get this capping in and get the cables down it and we're going to fix it back using all round band and steel band because that's how I like to do it and it makes it easier for the plasterer. So I'll show you how I do that and let's get stuck into it. Right, so all I'm doing now is measuring my cap in. It doesn't need to be all the way up or all the way to the box as long as it's covering most of it. So I like to go about an inch from the top and then about an inch from the bottom. I'll just give it a mark and then we'll cut that. Right, so this is the steel band, an all-round band that I was on about. So what I'm going to do is basically fix it in there with a screw and plug and then just wrap this around. So we'll cut it to length and then I'll just hold it in place for the plaster. So all I'm doing now, I've drilled my three holes and I'm just going to screw these back and then we'll get the cables through the cap in and get that up and then like I said we'll just bend these around and then that's job done there. We'll fix the box in, knock it out, the 20 mil hole out the top and program it in there and then that's the first chase done.
Right, so all I'm doing now is straightening my cables out because they're all twisted and bent. It's going to be a nightmare trying to get it down the capping. So all I'm going to do is just take my time now, straighten it all out to make it easier for me uh, run them through. Right, so I got the cables through the cap in now, so I've left enough slack up there so I can push it all back. And all I'm going to do now is fold over the all round band. And then that'll keep it in. So I'll do that for these two, and then that's job done. So that's pretty much it, it's all in, it's all fixed back, sockets level, I will say always get your back boxes level, perfectly level because it's just going to cause you a nightmare when everything's plastered, everything's finished and you can't just get that socket front level, so spend time doing that, but yep that's pretty much it and that's the end of this episode so I'll see you in the next one.